volume insufficient? You know, you're listening and it's not quite what you wish it was, Maybe what you can it could understand be. It, anything yeah. How saying. many times do you, yeah. yeah, you're watching something and you're like, I didn't hear that. And then you turn it up and turning it up doesn't really improve anything. No. We're going to show you how you really improve the quality of sound for your television with a sound bar from Bose. This is one of our electronics experts. Good morning, everybody. Hamilton. Hello, my friend. Hello there. Good to see you. Wonderful to see you, too. Happy President's Day. So, yes, in honor of President's Day, yeah. we're, we're doing what we're calling the President's Day Spectacular. It is spectacular. Um, and the spectacular part is we've got some terrific sale prices. And we've got a sale price for you on the Bose Solo 5, Solo 5 television sound system. Now, the sale price will go up at the end of the day. But right now, your price is $179.96. We've got free shipping and handling and our highest easy pay, which is six. And what I'm getting is the sound bar yeah. and the remote. Yeah, and that's all you need. Uh, but to your point, to Leah's point, so how many times do you turn on the TV, you, your husband, your wife, you're watching a movie, you're watching a TV show, you're watching the news, and you do the old, I can't, I can't understand I what they're saying. I don't know what they said. So because we have DVRs now and the ability to rewind, you rewind it, and you turn the volume up, and what do you do? You turn up the problem. You're not fixing the problem by making the TV louder. The problem is, is that TVs are getting thinner and thinner and thinner, and they're beautiful. You know, the screens look great, the visuals are perfect, but there's no place for audio. So what happens is you're listening to the television speakers that are buried somewhere inside there, which is what you're listening to now. Now, I'll say this. We're listening through the problem because you're listening at home through TV speakers. So to you, this probably sounds okay. So let's start from the top and we listen to the TV speakers as they are. Well, this is almost all the way up. I have it, I think, at 97 out of 100. So what happens when you can't hear? You turn up the volume. And you turn up the volume, what happens? Nothing. How about this? <laughs> so now I just switched over to the Bose speaker. I turned off the TV speakers, and suddenly the audio matches the video. Now you feel like you're inside the movie. Yes or no, Leah? Yes. Big difference, right? Yes, yeah. Back to the TV speakers for a second. Okay. You can hear the baby kind of cooing there. Well, what happens when we switch back to Bose? Forget about the visual here. This is all about making the audio audible. Wow. That's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. So how do we do that? How do we do the magic trick? Well, very simple. You take this, which is your Bose speaker, you take the power cord, which we've all seen, you plug that into the wall after plugging it into the back, and here's your hookup. Your entire setup includes this cable right here, which is called an optical cable. It goes where it's clearly marked optical in the back of the Bose speaker. Okay. The other end of it goes into the back of your TV where, guess what, it'll say optical. Optical. Yeah. So they make it nice and easy. Now, for those of you going, well, I've got a TV that's 25 years old. I don't know if it'll have that input. That's why that little guy is right there. Remember the old uh, red, white, and yellow from the VCR days? Sure. The audio and the video? Yeah. So one single cable would plug into the back of an older TV. But most of you will have either an optical input, and again, it'll be clearly labeled. There's even a third choice, which is called auxiliary. It's that famous um, headphone plug, the mini plug, the cable that we all have in our drawers, our junk drawers, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So no matter what type of TV you have, you plug it in. The cool part is you're going to turn off the volume on your television. Yeah. And you're never going to use the TV volume again. again. Yeah. And it comes with a remote, it does. universal remote. Yeah. Um, and can I say too? I'm going to get the measurement of this is also impressive because it's compact. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be about 21 and a half inches long. It's about two and a half inches high and about three and three eighths of an inch in depth. So whether this is on a shelf where your television is, uh, whether you put it beside it, in front of it, beneath it, whatever you'd like to do. You could wall mount it as well if you want. It is enhancing the sound quality yeah. so that your sound experience matches because you know television pictures have gotten better and better and better they're like a movie theater yeah but if you find you know you're watching and you're continuing to turn up the volume right. and that's not really doing anything except turning up the volume and not improving the quality of the sound yeah and if you think about it most movies were made for the theater right they're produced for these gigantic auditoriums and they're speakers that surround you right they envelop you while you're sitting in your seats and the audio is in the front and it's above you it's behind you it's to the side of you then all that gets compressed for television for streaming for the TVs that we have and we have to compensate somehow so there's two alternatives well there's three one you can listen to the TV speakers 
years too, can spend thousands of dollars and get surround sound. And surround sound is a process. Yeah. It's a speaker here, <laughs> it's a speaker to the left and the right. Yeah. Now they have speakers to the sides and they have speakers in the back. And then wires. a subwoofer on the floor. Yeah. It's a lot of wires, it is, it's a yeah. lot of money. <laughs> or we can go from listening right, to our listen TV to speakers. Okay. And this is, you know, this is when most of us would reach for the remote because right. we can't hear it well enough. Right. So TV speakers or Bose speaker. And the one thing you'll notice, even though you're listening through your TV speakers at home, is the bottom end is back. Right. The low end. The bass. And with that comes the drama. And that's the difference between watching a TV show and experiencing a TV show, or a movie, or a sporting event. A lot of big TV coming up in the spring. Major League Baseball comes back. Hockey and basketball uh, get into the playoffs. We've got March Madness, all of the primetime stuff that's on network, as well as everything to watch now on streaming, right. meaning Roku and Fire TV and all it's that It's an Olympic stuff. year, too, isn't it? I believe the Olympics are this all, year. All, well. I mean, and the, you know, and even everything that you enjoy watching, you enjoy it more when the sound quality is better. And this is all Bose does. This is what they have done from yeah. the very beginning. And so the fact that you've got this compact size, that it's an all-in-one, that it's as simple as just, you know. Single cable. The, the, yeah, that single optical cable. And now you can enhance the sound quality of your television yeah. experience. And on top of what we're giving you for your TV, we haven't even mentioned this yet, it's also a wireless Bluetooth speaker. So even though the wire will plug into the television so that you can transform the audio from your TV. If you take a quick, uh, quick peek at the remote, there's a button towards the top here, and this is the Bluetooth button. And you hear us talking about Bluetooth all the time when we talk about the Bose portable speakers. You tap that little button right there, and it will find your phone, it'll find a tablet, it'll find a computer. Now you can stream your music from your devices, from Pandora or from iHeartRadio or wherever you get your music from, directly to the speaker when you're not using it for your TV. And probably the most important button on here is down here. This looks like a little thought bubble in a cartoon. Yes, it does. Right? That solves, <laughs> dialogue? That's it. That's, that means something <laughs> should be here. Well, you're, you hit it right on the head. The dialogue button enhances what the actor, the actress, the reporter, the newscaster, the uh, sports commentator is saying to fix the problem that we started with yeah. uh, eight minutes ago. Right? We can't understand what we're hearing. We hear. Right. You know, we hear a lot of noise. But the, the helicopters and the explosions and everything that's going on in a movie sometimes is more of a distraction than it is an enhancement. Again, we're watching this at home, we're not watching in a movie theater. Movie theater is mixed for that. It's supposed to be that way. But when you get it home, mm -hmm. we go, I, I don't understand I this, so I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to turn it up louder. I'm going to turn it up louder. And before yeah. you know it, it's distorted. You still don't understand it, and you're frustrated. <laughs> right. So this will solve that problem. For and you. I'll tell you, and uh, the reason I, you know, I chuckle with, you, with, with understanding yeah. because, and if you've had that experience where you realize, like, I'm not hearing things clearly, um, it's not coming through clearly on that speaker on my television, and then you turn it up and you turn it up, and there are times when I would go back and think, like, why is it so yeah. loud? It's and so it loud. was because you were trying to, you know, trying to hear what they said, or as you said, DVR, you go back and and try and. The, say it again yep. this is an all-in-one sound system that just enhances the quality of the sound that you now get from your television screen and what I love is it couldn't be easier I mean it tell me again I'm just I get the cable included single cable goes one end of the back of the speaker the other end of the back of the TV you plug the power cord in you turn the volume off on your television and this will be a remote for your volume from here on out and this will also run your cable box and all the other good stuff plus it's also a Bluetooth speaker from Bose so it's a two-in-one it all happens very easy and it will make a big big difference so I'll start with the question I started with at the very beginning is the sound quality of the television you're watching right now insufficient and we know when it is you yeah. know when it's not as good as it could be um, and you know the quality of Bose this is your opportunity to get the Bose uh, so, uh, Solo 5, Solo 5 yeah. and get it with a sale price because as part of our President's Day Spectacular we've got select sale prices now the price $179.96, that sale price. It will expire at the end of the day. It'll ship to you for free. It'll ship to you with that sale price. And it will ship to you being billed in monthly installments of $29.99. But that's only if you are shopping today. So E229-238. Brett, thank you so much.